Hello Libra, welcome to your Rune Scope for September 2013. Um, I just wanted to take a moment um, at the beginning of these videos and, and thank everyone for the warm uh, response and welcome that I've gotten from YouTube. Last month was the first time that I did these video uh, Rune Scopes and um, the comments and the, and the email and the overall general feedback has been very, been very positive. So um, I'm glad that those proved helpful for so many people. Um, so I do plan to continue to do them for the foreseeable future. Um, also, I do want to remind you to um, watch the video for your rising sign because that can give you some more um, specific information. Um, or you can schedule uh, an appointment with me. I, I do private readings on Skype. Uh, it's $65 for half an hour. Just drop me a line at the email address below this video if you'd like to set up an appointment. Um, the challenging energy around in September for you, Libra, um, there may be some sort of disruption or change thrust upon you, and, and um, this would be outside circumstances, so it would be something that you have no control over. Um, however, this may turn out to be a positive change. Um, so in, initially, though it may take you by surprise or you may be forced into a change of some sort, um, a, a shift. Um, this could be moving or changing jobs, um, you know, something will be coming to an end, but something new will be, be beginning. Um, or this could be a, a breakup, um, but it, it could be that, you know, someone better, this is opening the way for someone better or freeing you up to pursue someone else that you may already know. So, um, whatever this initially is, this disruption, um, or shake up. While it may seem negative at the outset, it's actually going to turn around to be a, a very positive way for you, um, a very positive new beginning. And you'll see that as September progresses. Perhaps you just needed a little push. Perhaps there's something that you were putting off doing or a, or a change that you knew you needed to make but you just didn't think it was the right time or you were waiting for the right time and well now maybe you're just going to be pushed um, into <laughs> into making this happen. Um, but yes, I, I think you will embrace this change. It's kind of like, uh, because of this, you will be, because of what happens with this disruption, you will somehow be in the right place at the right time to um, uh, receive some sort of help or good luck. Um, and this may happen when you are out and about with family. You may be on your way to visit family or maybe at a family event happening in September. You will just um, really receive a stroke of good luck, um, you know, due to this. So if this could be a disruption around your family that brings all the family together and then it turns out somebody had that you um, are close to or somebody in your family has an opportunity for you or a way that you can make some sort of shift in, uh, in um, your life. So I, I think that, um, so I mean, don't get depressed. I think that's the, that's the big message here. Shock and, shock and, and shifts and change can scare us sometimes, but, but you know, definitely keep that outlook positive because I, I think you'll see very quickly that this is a change for the better. And the help you can expect to receive is, is financial uh, in September. Monetary. Uh, so if you if you are um, waiting for a raise, or or um, you are waiting to for a settlement, or if you have some sort of you know lump sum of money coming to you, or um, you know anything like that, you are uh, going to receive that financial help. Um, if you're waiting to hear back about a loan, you know if you're consolidating or moving your funds around, trying to trying to do something to make payments a little bit easier, you're gonna get the help that you need financially in September. So you could count on that help being there for whatever you need money for in September, the funds will be there. Um, and I do think there is a new way for you to um, get help financially if you haven't looked into that yet. So if you need to lower payments on credit cards or a loan that you have, school loans or or something like that. If you need to speak to someone about that, September is a great month to do that, and and just maybe talk to somebody. You know, how can I can I consolidate all of this? Can I get a lower interest rate? Um, you know, what can I do? You may also get an offer by mail or something by mail um, about this, encouraging you to consolidate or or giving you some new rates. So definitely call and talk to you know consider some of these offers. 
I think you'll get more than one, but you know, one may not be turn out being as great, but there is one that, that could really help you out. So um, you definitely want to take advantage of that. Um, in September, what you can accept is that the overall vibe is going to be very positive. You're going to be supported by people in your environment, your friends, your family. Um, there's going to be a lot of talking going on around you and with you and just, you know, among you and your nearest and dearest um, about life, about your life, your friends' lives, your, your family's lives, uh, how things are going for everyone. Um, so some kind of coming together that maybe family get-togethers or a party or um, some sort of family or event or an event where a lot of your friends will be there and you'll just, um, you'll have a really good time but feel a sort of camaraderie, you know, just a, a um, that you have a lot of good people in your life. So there's a recognition um, for you in September that, wow, you know, I really, really have, you know, a, a good group of people around me. Um, And if you don't have a good, feel like you don't have a good group of people around you, maybe this new circumstance that you're pushed into brings you into contact with new people who are who are good people, and um, you feel excited about that, or you just have a lot in common. Either way, a lot of talking going on in September. Um, some of you may, may be moving in September, and I, that a lot of that came up last month, I think, for Libra. There was some, a lot of activity around your, your living situation. That may be a continuing theme for some of you that carries over into September, this new beginning, and, and um, you know, just settling in, and, um, you know, when you first settle into a, a, a new place, you discover things like, oh, no, maybe this sink isn't working the way it's supposed to or this water heater is now broken or, or something like that there may be a little if you've moved into a new place you may discover something that oh i did not know this before i moved in um and it'll be quickly taken care of you know it, it may occur on a weekend or something so you have to wait until monday there may be a slight delay around getting someone out to fix it if it's something like that but i mean you will get it taken care of See what else is coming up by the end of September. Um, again, around your living situation, you may be considering um, a roommate or somebody moving in with you. Some of you, um, it may help you. May you feel that it'll help you pay. And going back to the money situation and kind of organizing your finances, you may decide that that's the best course of action to to uh, save some money um, to be able to have some more money for yourself. Just make sure you choose very carefully who you want to move in with. If you've been dating someone, I think some of you who have been maybe dating someone for a little bit may think that that's the best course of action, but it might be too soon for that. So think this over carefully. Um, you may want to consider a friend or, or, or a sibling or um, someone else that you know a little bit better as a roommate and then maybe later, you know. If things are still going well, you can you can move in. Because sometimes if you if you move too quickly on things like that, it can really have a negative effect on a relationship. So just keep that in mind when you're considering um, who you uh, want to share your space with. And if, if there's someone that you know would be difficult to live with as badly as you want to save money or, or conserve uh, funds. Um, don't put yourself in a situation where you're going to be miserable. Here you've got this new beginning, and, and for those of you who have changed living places or living spaces, um, don't clutter it up with somebody that you know you can't get along with who's going to make life less than rosy. Um, because I do think that you will meet someone or or some one of your friends, someone that you know that, that you would be compatible with as far as living with, will be able to move in with you very, very soon. So don't just kind of settle because sometimes you feel like you have to if you need a roommate or need somebody to move in and help share um, the burden of financial responsibilities. Sometimes you feel like, well, I have to take whoever is, you know, out of a lease or, or that sort of thing. But um, wait a little bit. Wait until the end of September, maybe till early October um, before you choose this person because I think that you will, um, somebody will be 
available at that time or their lease will be up in October or something and and this is somebody you know you can live with it would be positive they're responsible they'll pay their half you know um, you'll be able to depend on them and you get along with them and you know you know that you guys can live together so that's what I see for September I hope that is helpful um, a lot of good things remember this disruption is just um, what what at first appears negative is actually very very positive um, it's just Maybe you needed a little push. And change, when it's thrust on us, it's never, we always see it as, as kind of negative. But actually, you know, that can turn out to be one of the most, you know, a turning point in your life. One of the most positive things. So, um, I'm going to leave that with you. Have a great September, and I will see you again in October.